Hi there and welcome back to the culture in Stellaris Utopia on Hard. We're part of the Alliance of Logic and Freedom, newly created by us. And our members are the Swaby Proctorate, but we think there could be more. The Honashdam Trade Syndicate looks like a likely candidate. We could invite them to Federation. If our war philosophy wouldn't allow wars of aggression. And as we hadn't made a lot of wars since, and this is primarily like a defense federation for now, I think we're going to change this. We can still. With our war philosophy, we can still. Well, we could go defensive wars, but. Nah. That's a little bit extreme. We could go Liberation Wars. This means we can still attack the Xolpi and liberate some people from there. And they can join the Federation. That should be easy enough to do. So we'll go for Federation. Liberation Wars. And in a sneaky move we can change that after 10 years back when uh, Hanashdam will be all charmed by us being in the Federation. Because being in the Federation is a totally other thing, right? If you have people being in the Federation, then they won't leave as easily. We can invite them to the Federation, which we'll of course do. Because the Hanashdam, they're equivalent to us, you can see here. They are quite the player of games they are quite good this is the this is the power ranking and they are on five or on total on four so we have us the Hanesh Dam and the Suevi against the Standard and Senate Mothenweld and Xolpi and and an Aurelians but they got a problem in the future they have the Pretherin Scourge which we don't have as a problem. Let's see, if everyone accepts, then we'll be totally happy. We voted to invite the Hanashdam. And we have considered your offer carefully and decided to join the Alliance of Logic and Freedom. Now, Hanajdam, you are with us, a science directorate. We're happy you joined. We'll see to it that um, much will be done. <laughs> much will be done. Oh, look at that. Xurakorp is now protected by a military station from the Senate and Senate. Hmm. Also the Curator Lambda Enclave, they are not protected yet. But... They are part of the Pavilion Council that are besieged by the Pretherin. And in theory the Xolpi should stop them, but I think they don't do that. Pretherin are really expanding again. They have their constructors here. And they're doing what they can to spread more and more. Oh, we could offer the Ktik a migration treaty. Yeah, that's... of course we'll do that. Why not? I mean... All for more people joining us. And we could support independences. Maybe not of the pavilions. The scientific directorate is still holding a bit. There's the Pretherin. Well, they are under attack soon, so their overlords should help them. 
We cannot help them that well. We're just going to expand. Expand the habitats, expand the spaceports, expand everything. Let's see. We still have some spaceports. There's so much over the top of, of the fleet. <laughs> Opening migration between us will make for a better future for citizens and Ktiki alike. Yes, Ktiki. You found us of a great future. Ring world frame completed! Now everything is going well. The Federation is growing and the Ringworld frame is completed. The skeletal frame of the Ringworld we are building in the Norgon system has finally been completed. Although there is still much left to do, the mere completion of this metal skeleton, which has a circumference of nearly a billion kilometers, must be considered an incredible feat of engineering. We are now ready to start work on creating the actual habitats. Much work lies before us. Here we go. The ring sections. My god. We need so many minerals. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Let's start with ring section A. Just because of... I don't know. Traditionality? But we cannot start yet. Uh, my god. <laughs> Maybe we should stop a little bit of, of the cruisers so we can start that little thing now. Ring section A. Start it! Wow. Maybe we should really bring down... Hmm. Bring down our fleet. The Lunarian Empire gives us tons of minerals for monthly or really more. Yeah, why of course. I think that might be great for us. Nice. So, um, we could go for another habitat. Or we could wait for the next ring section. I think waiting for the next ring section will be much better. And maybe we should really destroy some of our fleet. It's kind of strange, but we might do it. But we cannot, right? We cannot even select one part of our fleet. Like we could split it up. So we have two. Oh my god, the fleet! Now we have two fleets. My god. Rejoin. We'll go down if we don't. Look at that. Whoa! Don't move. <laughs> go back to our logistician. Come on, quickly. Oh, come on, how long can that... How long can that last? It was just a joke. Can you please merge again? Oh my god. This force is much too big. 
And you see that? We had the game working fine, then we selected the fleet. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, PDX1 has, has leveled up to 5. Very nice. He has an arrested development since a very long time, so it's quite odd what is going on here. Look at that. The solar power processor. Just so crazy. The amount of energy we're getting out of this is intense. You're happy we should have you here. Although I've finished construction. Where are you going to? To Jürgen. Are you wandering to the Ktik Empire now? I had the hope of people coming in from there, fleeing from the Pretherin. Hotoria. We could sense the culture, this nexus of warmth in the cold void of space since before we left our planet. Now we are finally united. Huh? Oh, they... they hate the others. Hmm. But of course, they're a bit contrary to us. Really have to figure out a way to to destroy ships. Maybe we should just declare a war and then some ships would be destroyed. <laughs> ah What would you do? The game is really lagging, but it's not because of the graphics or anything. It's because of something that's gotta do with the fleet. Because if I select something else. Things are going back to smooth after a few seconds. Also the, the speed goes up again. So it's kind of a hmm, strange situation. And you should really be able to give over some of your fleet to the Federation fleet. So in a hundred months, we'll be able to go for the next Ringworld section. Let's see. Section A is coming. Hundred months, that is... Seven years or something? My god. <sighs> it's kind of a long time. Then we, we'll get enough influence to, to somehow play with it again. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely need the energy and then we can trade for minerals again. We'll see how this goes in the future. Maybe we should just start to attack the Pretherin. Yeah, that, that could be the thing, once we're thinking about it and, and watching everything. So, the thing would be to save up the influence in these years, the, while the ring world is being... while there's being savings for the ring world. And then we fly over with our fleet and with some colony ships. And then we'll start here, for example, in Obnol or somewhere, and colonize what they took. Should really start from a section that would be relatively safe for us. Like from the ring, rim of the universe and probably close to our space. So the closest would be like somewhere here. So the Shukon system would be a thing. 
surface integrity. Yeah, we should, we need to build first um, a couple of, I think as a, a construction ship that needs to terraform this planet. And to be able to terraform this planet, you we need to make a, a post here, a frontier outpost. Let's see what's going on here. They want to give us energy credits and minerals for Angus Vapor. Yeah. Let's do it. Our main source of income is trade. <laughs> so that would be the thing. Now we need to find out how much such a frontier outpost would cost. And it's not that high, actually. 468. So if we could remove everything there, then we could start a frontier outpost. And then we would be ha happy to plant a, a colony there. And from that colony we could proceed. But first we want to see how the Pretherin proceed, so to say. Flash coolant, energy weapon attack speed going up. Very nice. Uh, oh, there's a lot to choose from, but what we really need at the moment is applied superconductivity. And we should have a look if we have some industry specialist. We have M84. Yeah, he would be it. And there we go. Hmm. They are pathetic. Oh, the Xolpi made peace with with Kavongo. Seeding a lot of planets. Strangely for the alliance of Roskan and some here. And now hey the Bilarkosa Alliance gives us energy credits. Yeah of course. And the scientific directorate also has expanded because of that. More, they would give us crystals. Yeah, that would be okay. Now, so the Xolpi have expanded their vessels instead, or their protectorate. That is that is new. I'm curious of how this will continue. Still the Pretherin don't care. They probably have freed Virik Mog. All right. Lacking quite a bit still, but not quite enough. We'll we'll wait for a little while. Oh, 
Hull integrity goes up for our ships and what would be next? Um, not interested in anything except military station damage. There we go. Of course, that is really helpful because it also counts for battleships. So military station damage is making the battleships really, really, really good. Hmm. Really, now that they are finished under the, with the Utka Vongos, we could probably take apart the last of the Utka Vongos. Request Thraldom. No. They will vote no, they would vote yes. Um, can only go for seed planet. And if we give them a planet, would they vote yes then? If we would give them everything, they'd vote no. Mm. So humiliate, that would go. And see the planet, no. Interestingly, seeding planets doesn't go well for the Han for the Swabies, but the Hanash Dam said it's not possible with this. Um, so uh, we're not going to make this going. Would be a waste of time. System not connected to sector. What? Which system? Almak, Tifim, Efrov. What's going on there? Ah, we need to connect them again. They have a problem. Maybe if we add... So what? Heliospone, no. Akemar. Does that count as connected now? No. Seriously, what has happened there? How could that become an issue? Now if we add that system, oh that's not part of our systems. So we can't connect them again. That is tricky. Because they stole that from us, my god. Mm, let's see how this goes. What could we do? Could liberate planets. Ah. We'd have to wait, but what can we do here, really? 
That is too crazy. I think we need to dissolve the whole sector. Drain the sector's stockpile. Which gives us like a lot. But first, yeah, that's the plan. So that's the plan, what we're doing. We buy, with all our energy credits, we buy minerals from the, from the mushrooms. Then we build a ring world section. So that's, that's part of the plan. Commerce exchange. We want minerals. There we go. Ring section B. Oh my god! We can't go for another one. I hate these ring worlds. I hate them with a passion. 25% less output. That is appalling. Hmm. So what could, what should we do? So not to lose minerals or something. We have to build... I have to build some orbitals. Some habitats here. Yeah, we need to bring you over. To between the fallen as well. We would need 400 to delete the sector. That's some kind of joke. Now we would have to remove systems from here. To be able to do that, we could found another sector. Then we don't need... Um, yeah, we would, we would have to found another sector. All right, we'll create a new sector. And we'll add this. This and this, this and this, and this, and yeah, these systems too, because they're disconnected. So that is educating the brutes. This is our other sector. How should we call that sector? Hmm. We need to go, to, we need to go for someone who can uh, govern this too. Maybe PDX1, I don't know. Or Maximus Gardor. Well, let's go for PDX1. For this sector, you should be okay. How will we call it? Hmm. Friends. Ah, Swaby friends. Swaby friendship ship sector. Yeah, this is pretty fitting because. 
Yeah, the educating the brutes sector was like really educating the, the Xolpi. So they would see that we cannot be pushed around. Are they planning even? Nothing, nothing. Redevelopment is not possible, but they could go for space constructions. I wonder why they don't do that. Anyways, this should be okay now. Jodbem. My god. You guys here. Well, we have built two more orbitals. Should be okay. We can in the future integrate them for 160. Let's see if that goes well or not. So now we know that we have quite some time to collect all the minerals for the next Ringworld section. <laughs> hmm. The patriotic Vanguard. Yeah, they don't like strong alone. Is what they hate um, about us. Because we have joined a federation now. That's what they don't like. This is what we like. We have the reigning factions are, are definitely going well. We have the Alien Equality League. Indirect technology. How much does that cost us? 10%. Maybe it's time. Oh, Eaton Stellar Habitat is now complete and ready for colonization. Excellent. Maybe it's now time to to try to educate the Ultan. I have to read up on this, on the Astani, so we can finally go go away with this um, policy. So, but now Eaton Stella. Let's see. We have no one to colonize this yet. Yeah, well, then we need to build someone, right? Colony ship. With synthetics, I think. We're also building two new habitats down there. In between the fallen. And we could go for Thaleran. And another synthetic. So once this is finished, we'll be happy. And oh! Yeah, now we need the power, right? Cannot afford it though now. We just can't afford it. It would be it would be in vain. Maybe we'll get some kind of trade going and then we can buy back the research. That would really be good. Yeah, the research help is gone from the from the curators. Or have the curators been destroyed? That is entirely possible. I really hope they're not destroyed. Theorem system still holding strong. We might defend it once the Pretherin are too crazy about this. There's a fleet of the Lunarians trying to squash the Pretherin again. Fleet of the Scientific Directorate. Going up against the stations of the Prithrin. Why are the Prithrin flying away from this? This is a little bit mad. I don't know. Moving to the Neupron system. 
wherever that is. A matter of incompetence or something like that. The battles are fought. Savannah Garden. Yeah, let's go. Oh, we have two worlds here. What? Still uncolonized two worlds. We'll go for this. Celestial energy core. Virik Morg and Yak Yakuri too. <laughs> My god. <laughs> These worlds are just what we need. Space playground. Inactive building. What? Um... Yeah, we need new habitats to bring up our naval capacity. It will be good in time. Let's see about the traditions we have. Um, that would be nice. Fleet levies. Hmm. What do we have? Oh, they give us tons of energy credits for dark matter. Yeah, of course. Take that. And we'll talk to the Lambda Enclave. Can you aid us in your research? It is a wise choice. Hmm. Let's have a look at this surface construction. Uh, it's I think it's definitely okay. It's not a bad place we're in. Now Kurgaria. Kurgos. That's that's another thing. Let's see. We have some militarists there. That is indeed worrying, but we have, I mean, we are doing everything to make them conform. In the future, we'll be able to do this. Oh my god. Now, I think with ring section A, the ring world is opened. So we can already settle on there, but I'm not sure about this. It might not be that way. Might not be that way. So, hmm. Let's hope we can settle. Archivist Embassy? Yeah. We can already distribute the ships. Maybe we'll send over the mega structural as well to this planet, this molten world. Hey, our genius researcher has leveled up. Nice. Four star genius synthetic, <laughs> plus 20% research speed. He's such a great guy. He's 
That's the madness. The madness of it all. Next world would be Kazoo, but I think we cannot build... I think we cannot build uh, the things there. Because you need, for orbitals, you need something that is not a black hole or a pulsar. A neutron star, in that case. <laughs> you need a standard sun. Hmm. <laughs> we'll see about that. Need so much more minerals. And for that, strangely, we need more energy. So who is our friends? Our friends are clear now. All of these. Hmm. We don't want them in the Federation, right? We want we want to integrate them in time. But not now. Not yet. Not as long as we can build habitats. <laughs> that guy also leveled up, which is very good, because industry experts are always sought for. Yeah, we should have a watchful eye on leaders. There's another industry expert. But we have enough of these at the moment. We could go for more governors, which is always a nice thing to have. Better build speed. But they're not in itself like required because... Yeah, I mean, if they're synths, they can increase the output a bit. But other than that, agrarian upbringing is okay. An intellectual is pretty good, so that would be what we want. Um, like a robot with either agrarian upbringing or intellectual would be nice to have, like this guy. There we go, the Celestial Energy Core. Definitely nice. And we'll start to construct everything there. First, yeah, let's go for a laboratory complex. Why not? And then for all the unity, we can get visitor center, leisure district, paradise dome. And the whole lot of solar power processors. And quite a number of synthetics is what we need. There we go. Oh, instant interesting. Morthenweld goes to us as active sensor link. Yeah, we'd love to see your fleets. Yeah, the Armada of the Xolpi Empire getting destroyed. By Pretherin. Yeah, that's really interesting. Look at that. They had to flee from the Pretherin. They have taken that Safi Bun system back, but that's not a big thing. Some constructors are going on there. So it's really a battle, a battle of control. We're going to get 
a new leader soon. Maybe this time we could try to manipulate <laughs> who would be a good leader. This wall wouldn't be bad. Zweistein, mm, kind of good. Maria Gatto, not really Napoleon Gatto, I don't know. The Mentored, oh please not, please not. But he has a battleship focus, so that would be nice. He yeah, a champion of the people. That that guy would be nice. Look at that. There are the Xolpi versus the Pretherin. That's what we're watching while this is going on. Charismatic. I don't know. We don't have really, really good things. Reformer would be good. Tough Sophia of AI. Mm, they have destroyed the space station. That was quite a win for them. Checky Jan. Warlike. The Lady Chero. Mm. I think I'd like to have Maximus Gardo. Fona would be extremely nice. We'll see, we'll see. Oh my god. Unit TLY68 has been elected as first speaker of the culture. Who is that? Let's pause. Who are you? You are a recruiter and have deep connections. Deep connections is pretty good. Recruiter is meh. We don't need that. He was previously a scientist. Oh. Oh, that was that great scientist here we had for Voidcraft. Well, we'll have to look for another one, right? Where are you, Voidcrafter? We have another Voidcraft man. No, not really. We have a rocketry guy. <laughs> Do we have someone available? Zweistein. I don't think we have anyone better. With five stars, so we'll choose him. It's better than nothing. Oh, and look at that. We have, we're back to positive energy credits. That's a start. Now let's have a look at that giant battle. Maybe in the next episode. I think the Xolpi will, will, will win. What are your bets? Who will win? We'll find out in the next episode. And will more Pretherin join? That is always something I'd like so much. I mean, look at that. That's really cool. These formations they make when they move. I really like it. Well, um, while looking at these nice looking specimens i'd say thank you for watching happy gaming to you the culture loves you <laughs>